He moved Michael McDowell the way oh, McDowell, McDowell is retaliating on him right now. Low lead. In the words of Denny Hamlin, eh, short track racing. Remember that one time he mocked Joey Logano? That was pretty funny, but uh, we're going to have to give the drivers uh, some of these hats tonight because, uh, well, just in the open alone, we saw some tempers. Flair, I'm just going to do a quick video on the All-Star Open. There was one major event that we have to talk about, but uh, let's talk about the people who advanced first. Josh Berry and Ty Gibbs advanced to the All-Star Race via the finishing 1-2 in the Open, and then Noah Gregson will advance via the fan vote. So they will be in the main event in here about in, in I guess, an hour or so, let's call it. About an hour, 20 minutes, they will be in the main event, the All-Star Race. So, yes... Josh Berry won the event, but how did he get the lead on that final stint? Well, earlier in the race, Ty Gibbs was, he actually led the first chunk of the race. He's done really good this weekend. Uh, they obviously, the pit crew did their job, got him the pole for the open by winning the pit crew challenge. And then he, he did his job. He was up front, but then some strategy played out and he was starting third, fourth on that one of those restarts and he was on the bottom. And Michael McDowell got ahead of him. Justin Haley was ahead of him already. And McDowell cuts in front of him on the back stretch right before they get into turn three. And Ty Gibbs just does something you see at short track racing. He bumps him up the track a little bit and goes to the inside to pass him. What he didn't know is that Justin Haley was on the outside of Michael McDowell so that when he bumped him up the track and then shot the gap, he was making it three wide, which forced McDowell into Justin Haley and Haley and McDowell ended up wrecking and that essentially ruined their days. Justin Haley went from being a contender to make it into the all-star race to out of the race completely and McDowell went from a contender to lots of damage and would be lapped multiple times. The first time that the leaders went to lap Michael McDowell, Ty Gibbs was the leader and he knew that McDowell was waiting on him because McDowell on the radio said something to the effect of Put this car back together, I'm getting him, or I'm getting back at him. I can't remember the exact words. And well, um, McDowell sent his message. Ty Gibbs opted to go to the inside of Michael McDowell, and there's an inside wall at North Wilkesboro due to it being a short track, and you don't want to be forced into the pit lane. And he forced Ty Gibbs into the inside wall, scraped the wall. He didn't slam it or anything. Gibbs, as a result, kind of had to shove McDowell out of the way to get away from him since he had the faster car and the less damaged car. And he lost the lead to Josh Berry, who would go on to win the All-Star Open. And Eric Almarola had a shot at him there, but could never really get it done. Never had a shot to really bump and run him or anything. And it ended up being Gibbs who took that final on-track transfer spot. So Josh Berry advances to the main event. Ty Gibbs, despite having a conflict move with Michael McDowell, advances to the All-Star race. And Noah Gregson through the fan vote. Will more tempers flare in the All-Star main event? Let me know in the comments. Uh, it should be a fun one if it's going to be anything like that open. The open was pretty fun with the typical short track. Uh, tempers flaring, bump and runs. Tight quarters, you know, it's always exciting at a short track. So let me know how excited you are for this main event. It should be interesting to see what happens. Uh, but Ty Gibbs, Josh Berry, and Noah Gregson in the All-Star Race. But Ty Gibbs did not do it easily. How will Michael McDowell respond in the long run? I don't think he will. Uh, but he did say something at the end of his interview. He said, uh, I don't have the budget for a fine. Uh, but if I did, I wouldn't be standing here doing this interview right now. So I guess he would have fought him or he would have intentionally wrecked him maybe. But uh yeah, that was McDowell's side of things.